Good evening, or hello Betty. Happy 80th birthday. Do you recognise this doorway? Sometimes you've walked through here a good many times, you and Jeff. This is the place where you found Jesus Christ. And he's still here today and being worshipped. There's now two prayer meetings a week here. On a Thursday night and on a Tuesday night, a service every Sunday. This is the church they wanted to close when you came to Haddon. Thank goodness for John and Marjorie Stone and the Holy Spirit. You can see it set out for tonight's prayer meeting, which is uh, just four of us tonight. On Thursday, we have Mary and Joan come, Sheila Bucknell, myself, and two or three others who you wouldn't know. Do you recognize this place? How many times have you had communion here? Uh, not with the plastics on, of course. And then I think you used to sit just here at the back. But you see, we've actually got six comfortable seats now, hey? How's that? Well, I reckon that you used to sit here somewhere. Probably on, on a hard seat, not on that lovely soft blue seat we've got now. And uh, just to let you know, don't worry, because I've taken over Jeff's mantle of uh, singing the wrong words to hymns uh, like a good one. And this is just going into the back. And at the back now, we've got the most beautiful picture taken by a friend of Thomas's of the Last Supper, which was taken in London. And all the children except two, two are British and all the rest of different nationalities. Then we come round here. Hey, looks like a bit of a kitchen. Well. I think that's an exaggeration to call it a kitchen. Uh, it's more like um, a tap with a basin. And this is where I used to sit, of course, but not any longer. Were you baptized in this font? Were you and Jeff baptized in this font? I don't know. And I was only recalling the other day how your late father-in-law, John Walker, the verger of Haddon, they used to call him Batman because of his black verger's robe. And uh, he used to stand here at the door and welcome people in. And of course, as you'll know, he became a Christian by kneeling down at my fireplace. It is now in the lounge. And with Marjorie Stone on one side and John on the other, Marjorie said he came up to the door of the rectory, knocked on the door and said he wanted to become a Christian, but he wanted to do it properly. So he knelt uh, down on the... In front of the hearth, John Stone on one side, Marjorie on the other, and uh, asked Jesus into his life. You've heard a good few sermons from that pulpit, uh, Betty. John Stone, what a preacher. Bob Taylor, we were so lucky. Richard Longfoot. And now we've got Richard II, Richard Gibbs, who's also a good preacher. And there's a service here every Sunday. I just thought you'd like to have a look at the old place. Hope you're not getting dizzy going round in a circle. And then we go out the door, same door that you went out of. Richard Longfoot said some time ago he thought we ought to turn the lock round. I said, well, we turned it round in 1500, there's no hurry. You used to walk out of here, not into the dark, but back to Selah. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your trip. And God bless you and Jeff for all you did here in Haddon. You were truly an inspiration to many of us. Truly an inspiration. And I pray that you have a wonderful day and that you're touched by the Holy Spirit today. Thank you very much. This is the end. Hi, Betty. Hope you're enjoying your party. We just wanted to wish you a very happy 90th birthday. Congratulations. Happy birthday, Betty. It's been 50 years since I first joined Newell's and met Jeff, and we've been friends ever since. I've put together some photos that I've taken while we've been out on our cycle trips and on the many holidays we've taken together. I hope to bring back some nice memories for you. And also, Andrew and Vicky have sent a short video of Hattie and William. 
Looking forward to seeing you in April. Love you lots. Bye. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Right, it is recording. Oh, we are recording how it's yes. big. So, good. so what we say is, hello, Betty. <laughs> hello, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Yes, as you can understand, this is a very amateur self-video. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Cecil B. DeMille could not do better. <laughs> we just thought we would love to wish you a very happy birthday and uh, hope that you have a lovely time with all your relatives and friends. Yes, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we would sing happy birthday to you, but... but... She would just spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, my dear, have a great time. Right. Judith did ask us if we could remember any amusing moments in our time together and I do remember one I remember in Florida getting up at two o'clock in the morning thinking my smoke alarm had gone off <laughs> but my smoke alarm hadn't gone off it was Betty's travel alarm that had gone off at 2 a.m. and why did it do that because it was still at UK time and not at Florida time I thought that I thought that went up as well. <laughs> but do you remember going to the oyster bar and them having the kitchen roll hanging from the ceiling on a bit of string instead of having napkins? Aye, happy days, yes. happy days. Indeed. Lots of lovely memories, Betty. Uh, so, and the golf, Betty. I have to mention the golf, and the reason I mention the golf is because you and I usually won. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff was handicapped. He had me. <laughs> right, my dear. Can I just say a quick thank you to Judith for asking us to share in your day? Yes. It was a pleasure to make this lovely recording, which I'm sure will be preserved for posterity. Anyway, have a lovely time, dear, and our best wishes to you and to all the family. Yes. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Betty, congratulations. Happy 90th birthday. Have a beautiful day with all your family. We think a lot about, about you. All our love. Happy birthday, Betty. We are looking forward to seeing you soon in France, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Happy
Hey Auntie Betty, happy 90th birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day. Sorry I couldn't be on the kids song, but I'm away with work at the moment. Although probably it's a good thing because I'd have ruined it. Anyway, have a great day. Have a wonderful time. Lots of love. Hello Betty, it's Phyllis. I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. You're my best friend Betty and I do miss you. I really do. But there we are. God's been very good to us in it in his ways so he, he knows best for us what's, uh, what's best for us and uh, and that and uh, I'm really pleased Betty to know how, how, that you're doing so well now that's that's lovely it really is and I hope we shall see each other one day when we're when we're both fitting up Um, um, I've missed you. It's no, no, I've never had a, a good friend like you. You're, you've been the best friend I've ever had. <laughs> We've had some troubles together with you in the car to your family and whatnot. I often think about them all and Bunt and whatnot and all the times we've had together and Geoffrey and the children. And uh, you, you've got them all married off now. That's, that, that's great, that is, yeah. And I hope they're all well and doing well, yeah. I'll, I'll, have, to go, I'll have to go now, Betty, because there's such a lot of surprise visits today we've had with you. <laughs> Poor old Vicky. <laughs> so, so and I have my bath and whatnot, so. Bye-bye. God bless you and all your family. And I hope we shall meet in the near future. Bye-bye, dear. God bless you. Hi, Betty. Happy 90th birthday. What an achievement, especially after you've been so poorly this last year. I know you're all going to be having loads of family celebrations today. But Mum and I both wanted to add our best wishes uh, to that. Um, Oh, so many stories, so many things we've shared in the past. Mum just mentioned the car journeys. I can remember all getting into your little Morris Minor and heading off to Leicester with the four of us kids in the back in the school holidays and uh, doing some shopping and having lunch out. It all seemed very exciting. Kids wouldn't think much to it nowadays, would they? But to us, it was an adventure. Anyway, Betty, you and the whole family have meant a lot to us over the years and I'm going to get emotional in a minute um it's lovely thinking back to all the happy times we shared in our childhood um and another thing I always remember is when we did when Philip and I came to tea at yours it would inevitably be beans on toast or banana sandwiches and I think that was because they were Judith's favorite I'm not sure memory is already starting to play tricks on me sometimes anyway have a fabulous day today with the family we love you loads god bless and hope to see you soon bye hey betty happy birthday what a tremendous achievement 90 years crikey so happy birthday from me happy birthday from tracy and corrie and of course those who aren't with us mum and dad um a lifetime of memories, they're just mine. Uh, so the most first early trips to Elba, you know, the trips on the train. You and Mum were so brave, you know, and what an adventure for us kids. Through the, uh, the naughty years of, of Robert and myself, when perhaps we weren't such pleasant, pleasant company. Uh, and through to that first babysitting incident where Tracy and I just flapped when we left Corrie with you when uh, we went to Tolthorpe with Mum and Dad and you and Jeff just laughed at us. If Robert and Judith are the closest thing I have to uh, a brother and sister, then undoubtedly you and Jeff are, are my second mum and dad. Just like mum and dad, you've always been there in the background, you know, rocks in the background whenever chaos has happened in my life, uh, in Robert's life and Judith's life, uh, but you've always been there. So, you know, a, a, a sincere happy birthday. Sorry I'm not with you. Have a fantastic day. See you very soon. I love you very much. Bye-bye. Betty?